good with y'all welcome back to the channel so today we're getting the car weighed finally uh i want to see how much the car weighs um before i start doing more and more weight reduction i like to get a baseline just to see how much i'm actually dropping and get accurate accurate readings to both myself and you guys Gio's also accompanying us today so we're gonna go to paris because that's the nearest um cat scale i guess and apparently cat scales are some of the most accurate ones i'm also going to ask the people there how um i don't know how calibrated their scale is if their scale is up to date that's what i'm asking how how accurate is this scale they'd be like oh it's about 100 pounds off i'm like yeah i'll still do it i'll still do it just subtract 100 pounds 20 pounds off we'll see we'll see either way we gotta go get this car weighed uh, i'm not even gonna waste time we're gonna hop right into it i'm also thinking about making my car quieter y'all because the quiet the car like i spend so much time when i drive just making sure oh by the way i'm bald now y'all I shaved my head. No more hair. <laughs> but um, my car is still gutted. For those that haven't um, checked my Instagram or anything, my car is gutted at the moment. No passenger, no rear seats. Um, this is just so I can see how much the car weighs at race weight. Damn, it's fucking hot. Obviously, in the future, I'm gonna get a Kirky seat. This this fucking heavy ass seat's gonna be gone. I'm gonna get a Kirky. Um, I'm do I'm just, just no. I'm gonna do a lot. We're gonna do a lot of weight reduction. We're trying to get this car down. The goal is probably around 31, 3200 pounds. Obviously, without me in it, I'm a big dude. I weigh like 220, 230. Another reason why the seats are out is because I have to take off this. I don't know if y'all can see that. That big bolt right there. I got to take that out to get to do my uh, upper control arm. I still haven't did that yet. Um, so I was going to do it a couple days ago. But I was like, you know what? Let me go weigh the car first while everything is out. That way I can knock two birds out with one stone. But let's go ahead and head over and get this uh, car weighed up, y'all. You know, I gotta, always got to show y'all the cold start. roll the windows up so I, actually the, the home uh, one of the homies uh louise actually told me that since the rear seats is out it get louder it's way louder when the windows are up when they're down it's about the same but when you roll the windows up man everything's loud like you hear rattles shit sound like a fox body right now so we just filled up on some gas right now um i'm at three quarters of a tank i just added an extra five dollars i was at a half a tank just because it's a 40 just because it's a 40 minute drive and I don't want to uh, get stuck out there with no gas. I don't know if there's any E5 stations out there. So I'm trying to measure it correctly. So when I get out there, I have at least like maybe a little bit less than a half a tank of gas. And then I have enough to get back to the house because I ain't trying to be stranded, bro. That's terrible. No E85? I don't even, I don't even have my 91 tune on with me. So if I get stuck on E85, I got to drive in Gio's car and get some E85. are at the scale place or the weight place whatever you want to call it truck stop the destination <laughs> um we just got done talking with the people at the at the front to figure out how to do it because i've never done this before and geo's sitting on the floor because he doesn't like oh, oh, no, copyright what the fuck are you playing <laughs> you know i play my shit bro don't even trip like, like, you know, like, like it's nothing new all right get out my shit so you don't break say i weigh four thousand pounds Oh. Get the car weighed. Wait for this truck to be done. He's already done. It's gotta be nervous. I need to get out because I don't want to. Nah, you gotta stay in. I should stay in. That's realistic. I'm not going. I ain't gonna race a car. Nobody should. Yes. 
Okay, it's ready, and you said it's personal, right? No DMV, no military. No, it's personal. Okay, you can come inside. Hell uh, yeah! Death Proof sequel. Uh, you ain't never seen that movie though, huh? What? Death Proof? Nope. Uh, you messing out, bro. Should I watch it? Hell yeah, you should watch it. Alright, that's mandatory, bro. When you get home, you need to watch that movie, Death Proof. No. I will. What are y'all predictions of the car weighs, man? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Whatever y'all think it weighs. My guess, since I haven't barely done any weight reduction other than, other than the passenger seat out, the uh, rear seats, the tubular radiator support, nah, that's about it. I'm going to say it weighs about... 34 or something. Hopefully, bro. If it says 36, ooh. I'm gonna say 34 or 5. Uh, burning me up. That's, that's what Mustang Jane listens to. I listen to everything, bro. I don't care. I don't discriminate. All right, so we're about to do is we're about to park right quick, go back into the front, and we're gonna get the receipt of how much it weighs. And I'm gonna show y'all. So we just made it out of the front desk or the AMPM, whatever the fuck. I don't know, bro. What, what the proper names is? We're back. We got the official weight, 34.40 without me in the car. So we're gonna say it's probably like around 36.80 with me in the car. But that's not actually, that's really not a bad weight considering that I don't have any really real weight reduction done to the car other than the radiator support. Um, and obviously the rear seats and the passenger seat is out, but they're gonna be out when I race anyways. So we really do the Kirky seat and the lightweight battery, the cave member, all that good stuff. We can really shed some weight, y'all. We could probably hit 3,200 pounds with these. 3,100 pounds. I want to hit 3,100 pounds now. 3,100 pounds is for sure doable. For sure doable, y'all. But we're going to go home because we're all we're like 40 miles away from the house. And people out here drive stupid. So we're going to head back. And I'll continue the video once we um, get back to the house. All right, so we finally made it to the house. I'm extremely happy with the numbers that I made. Um, so y'all can see it again. 34... 40 pounds i like it i like it a lot y'all i have options now i can i'm gonna do the lightweight battery the k member i'm gonna do the kirky seat aluminum drive shaft i'm gonna do the carbon fiber trunk that might shed a couple pounds i'm just mainly doing it for looks honestly but guys we got plans for this car but i need to hurry up bro because i'm doing this so quick i need a daily bro i need to buy a honda or some a toyota something i will not touch and i'll just leave it completely stock and maybe throw some music in there and call it a day because what I want to do with this car, it ain't going to be a daily for long. Something's going to break. And I'm willing to bet it's either going to be the diff or the trans. But yeah, that's it for this video. I just want to do a quick one. I just wanted to weigh the car real, real fast. It's raining. I don't want to stand outside and get soaked and get the camera soaked. So we're going to end it here, y'all. Thanks for watching the video. Um, tune into the next one.